All right, question seven. A nucleus of sodium-22 decays by emitting beta plus particle. Okay, very familiar. Different nucleus is formed by the decay. State the name of another lepton. Hmm. Okay, okay, wait. 2211NA. You want a beta plus. I don't know what this particle is. I'm just going to write a big X. Okay. This is 0 plus 1. Meaning this will be 22 and 12. In fact, I sort of answered part two already. I don't know, maybe I write this one there. Okay, but there's a third party, you remember? Zero, zero, something, something. Okay, let's think a bit. This one here is an anti particle because it's a positively charged electron, anti particle, known as a positron or beta plus. These are all the code names. So an antiparticle must pair with a particle. So a particle here means this one is known as a neutrino. It's an electron neutrino. I guess you could also call it a neutrino. The electron is uh, you know, not that important, but it's a neutrino. So just know that this neutrino here is to show that this lepton is a particle. A particle. Okay, and then the nucleon and proton number, I sort of balanced the equation already. Is it? No, 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 I haven't balanced it. What? 10. Ah, 22 plus 0 is 22. 10 plus 1 is 11. So it's 22 and 10. Part 3. The quark composition of the nucleon is changed during the decay. Of course. Describe the change to the quark composition. Okay, you look here. Uh, proton number went from 11 to 10. So we went from one proton to one neutron. So proton is up, up, down. Neutron is up, down, down. So we have converted from one up to one down. So you can put UUD to UDD, or you can say up quark to down quark. All right, that's all. They say quark are, if you write proton to neutron, then cannot. Neutron cannot. Proton to neutron cannot, because you're not answering the quark. Right, how do I know the proton become neutron? Because the proton number dropped by one. Okay. Proton number decreased by one. Or you are familiar with the reaction law. No? We study a lot of chemistry, this is just a regular reaction. Okay. Mm -hmm. A baryon consists of quarks that are of the same type. Mm -hmm. So either up up or down down, like that no. The charge of baryon is negative 2e. Calculate in terms of e the charge of each quark. Okay, so baryon has how many quarks? Because we don't know this answer. I guess you can't answer the question. Did they tell you? I mean, I know, but do you know? Okay, so if if you don't remember, you may have to refer to your notes, but I'm just going to quickly draw. Matter got two types, huh? lepton. Remember lepton? The classification, okay, I also don't remember what we classify, what are we classifying, but we're basically classifying the fundamental particles. So on one side, we have lepton. Here is your electron your neutrino, things that do not interact with strong force. Here we have our hadron, things that interact with strong force. Hadron, got two types, baryon and meson. Examples of baryon are proton, neutron. Are these the only baryon? No, 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 there are many types. I don't know, got a lot. 
So this one got three quarks. Meson has two quarks. But you have to know that baryon consists of three quarks. If you don't know, then can I start? Mm, stop, mm, start a bit, stop. Okay. So 3Q is equal to negative 2E. So the charge of each quark would be negative 2 over 3E. Okay. So the 3 here is to show that the baryon has three quarks. Baryon has three quarks. Okay, what is the possible flavor of the quark? Negative two third. Okay, lie. I have this table in my brain one. Positive two third. Negative one third. Okay, got three generation. Up. It is up. It is charming. It is on top. These are all the positive terms. Down. Strange. Although I don't think strange is a negative word, but then again, it is strange for your result to be down and at the bottom. Can? But teacher, this one is positive two third. Leh. If I want this one to be negative, then how? Ah? If I want this to be negative, then this is anti-particle. So it will be anti-up, anti-charm, not charming, anti-charm, or anti-top. Did you write which one? Uh? Anything wrong? Anti-up, or anti-charm, or anti-string, um, anti-top. Okay, all of them will have a charge of two-thirds. Anti-up is more stable, so supposed to be the, the right one. Uh. But you write any of these three, is fine. So this last question is a little bit like a bonus question. They are kind of asking facts. It's a fact-based chapter. So it's either you are aware or you just the whole question will tank. Lo. Don't know what to do. But Baryon has three quarks. They didn't mention, which is a RIP. So look at your notes. Uh, inside your particle physics notes, there's a complete flow chart where I fill in different, different examples. But the main idea here is any kind of particles you can classify fundamental particles. You can classify into hadrons and leptons. Leptons are like electron, neutrino, got no quark one. Doesn't interact with strong force. Hadron is the one that interact with strong force. Heavy particle, H, hadron. Lepton is light particle. L. So hadron is the one with quarks and baryon has three quarks. Okay, that's it for this question. Very factual. And that's also it for FM22, P22. How was it for you? Do you have any questions? Let me know.